I feel like I live out in the country, you know, in the Ozark or something, trying to find me some water somewhere. People living in the Parkwood neighborhood of Girard fed up with water issues. They say they've been dealing with outages for weeks. Hello, I'm Dave Sess. Lindsay's off. Mayor Jim Melfi says he understands it's a major inconvenience, but says the project causing the issues will improve service once it's finished. Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley has our top story. People in Gerard's Parkwood neighborhood say they've been dealing with sporadic water outages for weeks. It's hard to do dishes and hard to take showers and flush the toilets. Martha Scoville is frustrated. We have not known when the water was going to be shut off. Scoville's husband has cancer. She says his things need to be double washed. She also has her own health problems that require running water. I have kidney disease. I'm supposed to be drinking a bunch of water. I can't do it because I don't, I don't know where to pee unless I go in my backyard. Mayor Jim Melfi says all these water issues are stemming from a project to replace a century-old main line on Trumbull Avenue. There is no question it's a major inconvenience. Melfi says the total project cost is around $860,000. He says the outages are due to water breaks during the tie-in process, which should be finished this week. We still don't know about how the pressure will affect some of the older lines in that area. So that's where our problem is right now and in the near future. So that could still occur. Melfi says the whole project is ahead of schedule, and once completed, that particular line will have two water sources with improved service. The pressure is going to be outstanding. Uh, the shutdowns for water breaks will be nil on that line. So it's going to be a huge benefit going forward. The city is providing bottled water for those without water to pick up at the fire department. We're trying to alleviate some of the issues and give people the ability to, uh, to get some clean drinking water uh, just to get through day to day until, until this is you know, corrected. Water is also available at Liberty Park for people to bring home to flush their toilets. Scoville says she either wants better warning or the outages to stop altogether. We pay taxes, everything. I mean, it isn't the best section of Girard, but we are Girard and we, we try to keep it pretty nice. But I mean, this, this is just not right. It's just not fair to us. In Gerard Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.